often get excited about things, but uh, sometimes you find something that's already been around for a long time and just haven't noticed it. Now, my technique for repairing little bits of damage and little bits of wear on these old Harris Tweed jackets, which must be preserved because you're never going to get this old quality Harris Tweed ever again, normally to open up the sleeve or open up the, uh, the bottom lining and steal some threads from the inside so you're darning with the same colour uh, thread. And uh, it's easy to make a quite good job of darning a loose weave uh, house tooth check like this. Uh, on, on a, But I've recently found something and I, I was buying, I don't know, some uh, fusing tape or something, a little haberdashery store, and I noticed this stuff. Now, uh, the brand is Trimits, like other brands available. Now, it's cotton, but it's sort of fluffy cotton and looks just like Harris Tweed yarn. And it comes in every colour. This particular one, I found some that's got uh, several colours in, in, in the same little bunch. And so I'll just pick out one of these greys here. And it's exactly the same colour as, as this coat. So, you see, the brilliant thing about this, instead of having to use a massive great big darning needle, now with a darning needle you can't go in between threads to get a really good purchase on it. But you can use a regular cotton needle with a bigger eye. Now, the advantage of using a cotton needle is you can actually get in between threads, so it gives you a really good sort of purchase. And uh, when this is black, there'll be some uh, very dark grey. I've got all these colours in this one thing here. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Darning Harris Tweed is actually quite rewarding because you darn it, and then you press it, and what I like is when I, when I do it, then I have to look for where I've done it. And uh, you can do a, you might not be able to do an invisible repair, but you can do an unnoticeable repair. And like I said, this kind of Harris Tweed, it's just not going to be seen again. My first suit that I bought was Harris Tweed, it was like carpet. That was in the days when everything was from the sheep on the island, the dyes were locally produced, it was, it was woven on little uh, wooden hand looms. Now they're lovely people on those islands up there, but they have to move with the times. Synthetic clothing's taken over, shooting and fishing and this sort of thing. People don't wear Harris Tweed uh, uh, plus fours anymore, they're wearing high-tech stuff. So these old Harris Tweed jackets, uh, particularly up to about the mid-70s, they, they've got to be preserved. I used to, a long time ago, they'd be thrown away, but now, even if a jacket's completely wrecked, if you look at a jacket like this, and if it's completely wrecked and completely worn out, you probably still get three or four eight-piece caps out of it. And uh, you can use the lining in the cap, so you've got vintage quality lining. You can make a vintage cap. Uh, you can make several vintage caps out of one old Harris Tweed jacket that's not fit for purpose anymore so yeah don't throw them anyway don't throw them away anymore repair them <laughs>